current market rate. Sunita Reddy, joint MD of Apollo Hospitals, is with us now. Mr. Reddy, good morning. Uh, your thoughts good on uh, uh, the government's move? Uh, uh, you know, a lot of people appreciate uh, you know the fact that uh, it's been capped at lower prices. Uh, but from your point of view, do, do you think it's feasible? It's uh, definitely feasible. But I would like to state that uh, a hospital like Apollo Hospitals has 55 specialities. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I think there are 10 which are really meaningful. So what has happened with either the, the stent or the knee is not going to impact the profitability of the entire hospital significantly. <coughs> and it was because we were so transparent in our pricing that we knew about the stent cost and knee cost. But in spite of that, our average revenue per occupied bed moved up by 5%. Okay. Uh, uh, no, that point is taken, Sunita. But still, uh, uh, we would want, uh, investors would want to know, with uh, price controls coming on both stents and uh, uh, knee implants, uh, what might be the margins and uh, uh, the uh, impact on the p &L? The impact on the margins, you know, I think we, we have a solution because the government cannot price for the entire value chain. Mm. And if they do, they will have to look at 1,032 measurable elements. Okay. So by capping either a knee or a, a stent, I don't think it's like uh, an airline service. You ca By capping a part of the supply input cost, we're actually going to benefit because we will get it at a lower cost. And it is a service that is being priced. And that's the way the press the investors and all have to look at it. Okay. Uh, well, uh, in any case, how much did uh, knee implants mm -hmm. form as a part of your revenue? It was only 10% of total revenues. Mm -hmm. And having said that, uh, it is going, it is, you know, volumes have really started to pick up. Mm -hmm. And we've moved on from just knee implants to, you know, higher clinical ex excellence up the value chain by doing something called regrow and the 3D knee. So, Apollo's story is more about clinical differentiation and where we're moving up the value chain and away from just the implant story. Okay, so would it be fair to assume that because of this move, uh, Ms. Reddy, there would be a 3 to 5% margin hit? There would be, no, not 3 to 5%. I think it would be much lower than that hmm. because you're only talking about 10% of our business where this is probably, you know, a 1% Volume one percent impact. Yeah, ten percent, ten percent business, but prices being lowered by sixty, sixty-five percent. No, no, but it, everything is not about knee implants. Yes, sir. we are moving to okay. regrow and uh, and different procedures for the knee. Okay. So it is not going to be a that a significant impact. Okay. So on you may say the net the impact would be more like two to three percent, right? No, it will be less than two oh. to three percent. Oh, even that. Okay. Okay. Yes, because you've seen our art pops have already moved up by 5%. Okay. So I don't think it will be 2 to 3% for sure. I'm quite confident it will not. It's on the whole a 10 crore impact for the whole year. Oh. But they're already moving towards, you know, things like regrow. And you must remember that we're at one tenth the cost of international rates. So, so we do have an opportunity to really move up in terms of the entire value chain. Okay, uh, so what would you uh, uh, say would uh, has been the impact of stents? That was about 30, 40 crore? Yes, I think 30 crores is a, is a number. Okay. And that we've already, con I think, you know, Revealed. market has priced that in. Mm. But uh, what I do have to say is since that volume in, in July, August, in the preceding months have increased tremendously. So mm. there's volume, there's asset utilization. And the fact that, uh, you know, the new procedures that are being done to compensate for this. Mm -hmm. But with volume alone, our absolute EBITDA will increase. Okay. And you're seeing in the second half uh, uh, a volume growth. Already in the second quarter, is there a volume growth in yes, the Chennai yes. cluster for one? Yes. And also in, you know, I think uh, Ch all the uh, Chennai clusters, all the other clusters are not just about cardiac and orthopedic. They are about... 55 specialities and focused 9 specialities. So we are only talking about 2. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, you all had guided for AHLL to break even by end FY19. Uh, but at the moment, yes. losses are running higher than uh, what uh, analysts told us. You still maintain that guidance? 
Yes, we do. Okay. All right. Uh, we'll uh, wanted to clarify that about uh, the knee implants. Uh, thank you very much, Sunita Reddy, for clarifying that.